EasyMont.com. Use code Q. Get 10% off right now. Stop gambling your money. Go save your money. Go get the team you want. Go have the fun you want. Go get the players you want. All right, guys, we're back. Top 10 pass rushers. Up next, we're actually going to do a different type of video today. We're going to do the best quarterback at every budget. I'm going to clear up the quarterback picture the best way you've ever seen it. I'm going to really let you know who should you spend for and really like why should you upgrade and why should you just stay with who you got. So uh, we're going to go through that and I have the top 10 cornerbacks coming out. So subscribe if you're new, hit the like button, set it, waste your time. Let's get started here. Now we're here and it is, well, David. David's good for one thing and that's going to be for inside stuff for one. And that's very important actually, uh, really setting up your team. The correct way is going to make a difference. Uh, inside stuff is the only defense of line ability I will tell you to use. And that is it. So getting that discount is a big deal. But far as a pass rusher, I don't like his speed. I wish it was a little bit better. He does have the strength threshold, the power move, and the block shed, which can run, I know. But we still got to talk about it. But I will say his traits are not the best, right? Not having the best traits and not having the best speed holds this card back. DJ Watt is not a top 10 pass rusher, even though he has the cool card art and he's new. I'm not going to sit and hype him up. Now, listen, he has low strength. He has a bad power move. But guess what? With his traits, he throws that power move, which is a bad thing because it's not effective. So, yeah, with that being said, uh, it's not the best card. Now, can he make a play? And you'd be like, oh, I love this card. Yeah, but then you're going to be like, wow, I don't notice this card. Uh, his discounts are trash. Do not put any abilities on. Abilities do not help this card. There's not an ability to waste your AP on. So please save your AP. I don't want you to put it on the wrong thing. Go put it on, you know, deep out zone KOs. You got Lurk Artists. You got Lurk Ur. You got Pick Artists. Stuff like that. Just don't put it on a pass rushing ability. Up next, we got Howie Long here. He's not the fastest, but man, he has the strength, the power move threshold and of course he can help against the run but what's important is he doesn't have a good finesse move but guess what he doesn't throw it so that being said that's important he's going to be really good throwing that power move uh by really good i mean just a little more effective not like super good in the game uh i just like the fact that he doesn't throw the bad finesse move and yeah let's keep it moving up next great speed bad strength strength not being good is not a good thing to see there now, not having 90 power move is also not good. That's the threshold you want. Now, with that being said, uh, he doesn't have the best traits either. So, with that being said, I will say that this guy is going to be overpriced. He does have the speed. His discounts mean nothing. Don't worry about that. And, yeah, I would just go ahead and skip over him. There's, he's going to be definitely not worth the price. Dolan Smith is here. He's got the speed and no strength and no power move. Or, yeah, power move. And with that being said, um, he throws the power move. So that's not good. And I will say to him and TJ Watt, it's almost a coin flip. I will say I had both of them on my team. I did notice Nolan a little more uh, just by just getting by people basically. So really, would I suggest you get Nolan Smith? No, I would say save your coins. And I would say, yeah, he's overpriced. Up next, guys, we're here, and we got 90 strength, right? 90 power move, 90 blocks. So you like the thresholds. He's got, well, not the best weight, but at least he does hit the thresholds. And, well, don't worry about these because none of them are worth putting on. Edge Threat Elite is also trash, if you're wondering. And he does have, he just throws the power move. He does not throw finesse, so I do like that. So the strength, the okay speed, and the block shed, he's going to be a pretty good option. I do like Derek Thomas here. The speed and excel, the 90 strength, the 90 power move. Now, remember, he's going to throw this finesse move, which is not the highest threshold, which means you're going to get the best animations. He's good against the run, but I will say that this card right here, he's fine. Uh, he's a much better value than the other ones. Double or nothing is okay, uh, but man, I really want you to put your 3 AP somewhere else. And I will say for his price, there's no reason to go get Nolan Smith, TJ Watt, and waste your coins. 
when this guy here actually just does better. He did better for me, and he's doing up better. next. We got too tall, too tall, six foot nine. You're saying why is he not my user? Because this pod is trash. If you move left and you try to go back right, you are stuck in mud. So do not use him as your user. Now uh, he hits the thresholds right here. What you like to see? Finesse and power move 90. He wishes his strength was 90. It's not. So. With that being said, I would definitely boost that if I was you, if you're going to get this card. Block Shad's good, and his traits are fine. He doesn't throw the finesse move, uh, so just remember that. You're not really going to get both animations. You're only going to get the power move. And with that being said, Edge Threat is complete trash. Please do not put that on him. And yeah, uh, let's see who's next. At least when this guy gets by people, guess what? At least he gets to the quarterback because he's got the speed, and that's nice. But really good finesse move not the best power move but he does hit the lower threshold and i will say um he does not throw uh the bull rush so it means he's not going to throw the power move which is good because he's better at the finesse so yes this guy here can make a play he's very expensive and i will say none of these are worth putting on him all right inside stuff is be a bad deal because he's not good on the inside as good as you'd be on the outside and you can go get somebody for one AP inside stuff. Is the new Williams card or the card we just covered. Reggie White is next. He's going to have a pretty good speed, finesse, power move. And he's going to hit those thresholds. And guess what? His traits are perfect. So with his traits being better, I did notice this guy a little better. He's on my team right now. And guess what? He shows up. He does get those block sheds. He does get those running backs in the backfield. Is it every play? No. Is he noticeable? Yes. That's for elite. Is complete trash. Double or nothing's okay. I would put nothing on him. That's what I have on him. And he's fine. He shows up more than Curse, more than Too Tall. So I will say that, yeah, this card here is just programmed a little bit better. Donald is next, and he's just a little bit faster, guys, than White. And that's one of the biggest differences. So, yeah, Aaron Donald's going to be great for his speed, for his price right here, guys. Spending 200 k compared to, like, what, like, Nolan or the new Reddit card cost, that's just crazy. I would definitely get this card. Please save your coins. You're going to like this card because he has perfect traits. He hits the thresholds. He has 90 strength. He has good speed. And, yeah, this is going to be the card I would suggest you go get for his price right now. If you're saying, well, name one player, I would name this player. That's who I would name for you. And, yeah, he has an X factor. Is it super effective? No. Can it help? Yes. Is it, like, consistently going to light up? No. Let's see who number one. If we hit 5,000 subs by January 1st to celebrate... I'm giving away five $75 Amazon gift cards to the first five people in the chat. So have notifications on to know when I go live. Thank you for support and good luck. Number one, guys, I can't. I just, how do you go against this? So you got the speed, the strength, all, of course, all of the thresholds. You get any team cam, perfect traits, and then you get discounts, right? Uh, interior threat for one AP could be worth using. And if you notice, he, him, Buckner, Kyle Williams, and Vince Wilford are going to be the only players to get that. So that's pretty unique. So I would definitely put that on him if you're going to get this card. Besides that, SR Elite is complete trash. Double or nothing is okay. So yeah, this card here is definitely going to be the best. And yeah, he's a little bit pricey. 400, 400k. 4 million right now. Uh, yeah, go get him, guys, if you got the coins. But I would say, seriously, go get Donald. Uh, the speed the finesse, the power, the thresholds. You can switch them to look then. This is the card I say go get. That's it for me, guys. If this helped you hit the like button, it really does help. Up next, we have the best quarterback at each price point. So, I'm gonna really help you clear up the picture. No, should you upgrade? Why should you upgrade? Should you just stay where you're at and save your coin? I'm not gonna hype up anything to do make it go spin your coins. I'm gonna let you know what the biggest differences are and after that, we're doing top 10 cornerbacks. You know, we do at least three videos every day here. I'll see you in the next video. Be kind for no reason. Right now at SaveNBAMT.com, 300K is below $30. When you use code CUTE for 10% off, go get the player you want. Go build the player you want. Go save your money.